Folks, welcome to a new week. Hope you all had a good weekend. Um, this is obviously I'm not there again this week, which isn't ideal, but um, sure it doesn't mean you can't uh, you can't keep going. Um, and I'm back next Monday, so um, we'll catch up where we left off, um, providing that you haven't wasted last week and you don't waste this week because. Um, they're all factored into the time and um, really you can be doing what we will be doing anyway um, other than the experiment parts, obviously but it's only three more classes and um, we're back to back to normality um, so this is just what you had last week right so I asked you to finish off the rates notes now that shouldn't have taken too much time though what we got through most of the theory about what affects the rate and um, of a reaction and um, different types of catalysts and we did that experiment which is the hydrogen peroxide and the manganese dioxide and you did the graph and the instantaneous rate and the average rate and that's kind of where we left off and you would have finished off those couple of notes um, over the um, last Monday and Tuesday and then I asked you to try the higher level rates exam questions all right the only ones you wouldn't have been able to do there was any question of um, if it mentioned sulfur or it mentioned a cross that's the only part of rates that I still have to do with you, and I'm going to do that with you next week on the Monday. Okay, so we'll do the, um, and there's a couple of, um, it's a small calculation around that, but it's nothing major. Uh, and that will be rates done, dusted out of the way. But make sure you have these done first. Number one thing to do. Um, this Thursday, I'm going to send you a fuels and heats reaction test, okay? So um, I will send you two questions. Um, one experimenty one, so there'll be a question on, E teen or E tine, um, um, and there'll be a question on the theory. So the fractional distillation of crude oil and how do you um, stop a fuel from knocking and what the, what does um, um, a chemical structure look like if it's a good fuel? Remember high octane number and low octane number, and things like that. Okay, so it'll be hundred marks, two questions, um, and the que you know when you go, if you go down to the fuels um, of reaction folder here you'll have loads of sample questions to have a look at with the answers so that's what you should be preparing for monday and tuesday that's going to be your homework prep for thursday's test so for today and for tomorrow so for monday and tuesday i'm going to do a couple of things right one make sure you have that work done from last week okay finish the rates notes do the exam questions and check your answers um, if you can get that under the belt, it's a lovely question 10 or question 11 came up, for example, in the in the mock this year. I'll show you the question that came up. And it's one of those ones that's nice and handy to uh, to do if you have your head around the different types of catalysts and so, and so on and so forth. Um, once you have that done, bear in mind your homework is prep for Thursday's exam on fuels and heats of reaction. So number one, last week's stuff. Number two... Don't forget to prepare your fuels and heat to reactions for Thursday's exam. And number three, I want you to move on a bit. Now, you won't get an awful lot of this done with Thursday going to the test. But if I go in here, so this is a, the next step after you move on from fuels to heat to reactions. And a couple of ways to do this. Um, you want to take your notes on the families of organic compounds. You know you have alkanes, alkenes, alkynes. We kind of touched on alcohols, but there's more of them. So you can either use this folder here, or you can use the revision folder, or it's chapter 22 in the book. Am I on chapter 22 in the book? Hang on. Chapter 22 in the book. Some families of organic compounds. So you might remember some of these ones. So chloromethane. So basically a methane with chlorine, or the dichloro, you have two chlorines, two chlorines, three chlorines, you have chlorine, chlorine, chlorine. And tetra means four, and it goes on. So they're your um, um, chloroalkanes. Alkanes, single bonds with chlorines stuck onto the side of them. Okay, and it goes on like that. It goes from family to family. There's your chloroalkanes. It goes from that into alcohols, which we kind of touched on. So remember, alcohol is just all, 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 depending on how many carbons. Met one, et two, prop three, so on. And then it goes through ones that you wouldn't have heard before. Um, in a second, there's still alcohols. So the book kind of goes through an awful lot of nonsense that you don't actually need. Then here's one that you might, that you haven't seen before. 
here's an aldehyde. So it's still met e propent they still stand. But in this case, it's methanol. So it's not methanol, like an alcohol, methanol, because this one is an aldehyde. And a methanol group is on the end of the molecule, you have a C, double bonded to an O, single bonded to a H. So if it was an alcohol, it would just be OH in the one spot. But an aldehyde is C double bond O to a H. And it goes through all the different groups. Now, in the there's a much more summarized version of the notes here, which might help you, but you want to get these in your own words. We call it um, note making, not note taking. So you're going to put this into a way that suits yourself. And when you go in here, this kind of gives you a shortened version of it. In theory, hang on. Okay, so there, remember the different types of carbons we had. If it, if it has a double bond, it's a planar, if it doesn't, it's a tetrahedral. And then you have your chloroalkanes and your alcohols, and then it goes from there. Alde alcohols are first, and then aldehydes should be after alcohols. There's alcohols still, lots of alcohols. And aldehydes should be down here if it loads. Okay, different properties of alcohols. And then here's your rest, the rest of your groups. Aldehyde is the first one, then ketones. I'll just show you that quickly the difference. An aldehyde is this C, um, C double bond O to H. Remember, or is just, it could be 20 carbons, it could be two carbons. But that's your aldehyde group there. And when you go to a ketone, it's very, very similar. So there's all the properties. But ketones is similar, except the C double bond O is in the middle. So when you space, when you see own, it means in the middle of the molecule. And it goes through the different properties of ketones, like we did with the properties of alkanes, alkenes, alkynes. Carboxylic acid is very similar to a ketone, except it's C double bond O and an OH group. Um, so it's just going through the different families of, um, of molecules. And in the last bit, which will lead to six years, how do you go between one family and the next family? So just to recap, basically get as much of this done as you can. Obviously, I will be going through this with you. Um, in person and we'll draw them all out and I'll give you a handout that kind of bridges the whole thing together but um, so I want you to make sure you have last last week's work done number one the rates notes and the rates exam questions and then fully correct them using the marking scheme number two I want you to prepare for your fuels and heats exam which is going to be Thursday remember two questions 50 marks each 100 marks in total first one is going to be about um, the theory refraction distillation and your second question is going to be one of the experiments that we did in that chapter okay and when um, and that's going to be your homework from Monday and Tuesday and then if you're finished that and you're happy enough with the rates and you're happy enough that you're going to be okay for Thursday then start taking your notes either from the textbook or from the revision document or from the summary notes here in Schoology and that is lots of work. And the more, obviously, the more you get done, if you have all them taken, I can zoom through those in um, an hour, um, which would usually take about three hours. But if you already have the notes taken already, it just speeds up the process. And as we know, the more we get done in, in, in fifth year, the earlier we finished in sixth year. And then we've, there's nothing as comforting as having the course content done. And we're just revising, revising, revising um, for the last couple of months of, of sixth year. In time for the leaving cert okay obviously you have my email address um i the email is attached to my phone any questions you have any issues um give me uh give me a shout and i'll do my best to help you and i will see you all um i'll send them the exam in thursday um and i'll get them off you on monday in class and i'll see you all next week mind yourself